run through of my electric fan conversion. Um, it's hard to see the fan. Well, no, there you go. Uh, there's not a lot of clearance, even though I got a slim fan. It's about, I think, three and a half inches, so I had to offset it, uh, which isn't a big deal. You're still going to get uh, about the same airflow. I mean, the shroud might block a little bit, but it's not a big deal. So, basically, once you've gotten your manual fan off, uh, I took the radiator out in order to make up these brackets. You can see well, there's one there and there's one on this side. Uh, and the fan's just riveted on there. I could actually roll in another video that gives you a better view. Um, then I put the put all this stuff back in. Uh, and my wiring is fairly simple. I, I just used a diagram that someone else uh, online already figured out. Uh, this is our power, and my relay's hidden. I've, I, I got all this wiring hidden because it's ugly. Um, basically, there's a relay here. Power goes in, and then there's an out, and the out is right here. It's wrapped in electrical tape. It goes to the fan. Um, and then there's two other wires that go into it. One of them uh, is uh, power coming from inside here, actually, in this OBD uh, diagnosis port. Uh, and that goes in there uh, and supplies a uh, ignition power, basically. Um, and then here, we tapped into the uh, temperature switch uh, sensor for the auxiliary fan. So basically, simplified um, the fan comes on with the auxiliary fan on the high setting so if the car gets a little hot and you know the temp sensor hits the low low temp uh, setting it'll flip over and the auxiliary fan will come on it'll cool it down everything's good if it gets really hot they both come on and it's really loud it's not really loud but you know they move a ton of air and it cools it down very fast now, the more savvy viewers uh, who really know their uh, engine bays might be wondering what this is. Uh, this is uh, a manual switch I wired in. It, it, yeah, like I said, I'll show you the wiring diagram <clears throat> at the end here. Uh, but basically that means I can just turn the big fan on <clears throat> whenever I want. And since they're wired together, it turns them both on. So I'll show you that real quick here without the car running. And I put my switch right here since I already had a hole in my dash here. Nope. Really easy mod. Uh, it's well worth the money. I only spent... Let me think. I spent less than $40 on this. <clears throat> but that's not including the fan delete mod, uh, which I highly recommend. It gives you a lower temperature auxiliary fan switch, a lower temperature thermostat, uh, and I actually bought the I bought this aluminum thermostat from a junkyard for like five bucks uh, from a '92 E36, uh, and you also get water wetter for your coolant, which I actually don't have anymore. I just realized because I drained my coolant. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I highly recommend it. It only took me, it took me 30 minutes to do the wiring, um, and I think, and between one and two hours, about an hour and a half to do, uh, to actually remove the radiator and install the fan and everything. So yeah, simple mod.